thing. I'm so glad you got my text. I want to help. With what? I saw the paper. I know that Neela really cares about Jack, so when I realized that he was arrested last night... He was night... arrested because of Neela. Neela agreed to help Shane. She got Jack to talk about Gigi's death and then recorded it. She went through with it? You knew about this plan? Why do you think I was warning you to keep Neela away from Jack? Aubrey Wentworth, you could have been more specific. Well, I was sworn to secrecy by a teenage boy. Yeah, by a teenage boy who wants some justice for his mother's death. So yeah, I, I kept a secret. I didn't think Neela would actually go through with it. God, I wish she hadn't. She did the right thing. Probably so, but I just can't help feeling that Neela's the one who'll get hurt in the end. Oh, just wish she hadn't made that tape. You're right, Neela's in a terrible position, but at least she found out the truth about Jack. She feels so bad for him. Why? She understands what he did, right? Yeah, but he's so remorseful, Aubrey. Oh, please, not you two. That kid deserves to be locked up, and he will be for a very long time. So she'll have plenty of time to get over him. Unless she can't, unless she feels so guilty about putting him in jail that she just cannot get over him. You really think that will happen? I don't know. It's just clear that whatever Jack has done, Neela still has feelings for him. <laughs> don't worry, Neela will get over Jack. I'm sure every guy at that school would love a chance to go out with her. Ooh. Don't say that in front of the mother, okay? <laughs> okay, so what's going on with you, honey? Me? Yeah, what happened with Rex? Did he come home? Not for Christmas. There was some freak snowstorm in Texas, so he got stuck. He left me a message. He should be on his way home now. Okay, so that's good, yeah? Yeah, I guess. It's just... He sounded strange. Strange? How? Just... Strange. Like he's not telling me something. Well... Come on, Aubrey, don't make too much of what happened with Rex. Something's off. Yeah, of course something's off. He spent his first Christmas without the woman he planned to marry. I know, but he just seems so determined to have a good holiday. And anyway. then he got stuck at the airport. Of course he's gonna be off. Yeah, you're right, I'm making too much of it. Unless I'm not. Just wait till you see him and then you'll know. True. I just can't wait. So let me call him. I shouldn't. Well, he left you a message, right? You can call him back. Is he home yet? I don't know. Could be. Try and do it. I'll warm up the car. I can do it. What? <laughs> <laughs> Aren't you gonna answer? Not now. Dude, you can start the car. Give your mom and me a minute. Okay. If I don't see you in two minutes, I'm coming back. I'll be there. Okay, Balsam, I just came back from the dead, so whatever this is, it has to be easier than that. It's not a big deal. There's not much to say. About Aubrey? Yeah, we got... a little close. She helped out with Shane. On Halloween? Yeah, she planned this whole thing for Natalie, and after that... I mean, she wasn't in our lives before, you know, with everybody else, all I could think about was you. So with her, you forgot? No way, it was just... easier. I mean, I went to Texas to say goodbye to you. I know. You don't have to feel bad about that. I didn't expect to bring you home. Aubrey was supposed to spend Christmas with me and Shane. Have you spoken with her since you found me? Uh, not really. She has no idea. Do you have feelings for her? If I did, they disappeared the minute I knew you were back. I understand. I... You thought I was dead. Things happen. But I'm, I'm gonna need you to tell me the whole truth. I am. I... cared about Aubrey. But it was nothing like it is with you, Marasco. You're it for me, now and forever. Same here, boss. But, um, Aubrey's probably sitting there waiting for you to call her back, so uh, just do it. Or go see her. I'm not gonna leave you. 
Shane and I can go to the police station. We can meet up after. Are you sure? Yeah. Also, I'm never gonna go anywhere. Ever again. I promise. Oh, come on, Aubrey. You don't know what it means. Yeah, you're right. Maybe Rex is still on the plane, or maybe his battery died. Hmm. Or maybe he's calling me back right now. Hi, Rex. Hey, sorry, Mr. Call. I was, uh... Don't worry, no problem. Um, so, Merry belated Christmas. <laughs> yeah, Merry Christmas to you, too. Aubrey, can you meet me at my house in a few minutes? I need to see you. I'd like to see you, too. I'll be right there. See? <laughs> I told you everything would be fine. Better than fine. <laughs> oh, bye, love. So bye, bye. Call me later, okay? I want details. Are you sure you don't want me to come with you? Mm hmm I have this um, very tall, handsome, very grown-up gentleman escorting me. We will be fine. Besides, what you have to do, can't wait. I didn't put that up at first. I didn't know if you would like it or if it would make things worse, but then I thought, you and Shane think about Gigi all the time. I mean, you miss her no matter what, and I am not trying to take her place, and I know you know that, but I just had to say a lot, apparently. I will shut up now. I'm just so happy that you're home. <laughs> Aubrey, there's something I need to tell you. <laughs> 